In this presentation, we are going to discuss about WinDebug command edit memory or E star. This is a very useful command for white box testing, for penetration testing, checking fixes, and this particular command shows the real power of a debugger. Now let's see a demo. So we have a program here. So it's a pretty straightforward program. So we have a character array of 200 elements and we are just printing that string so the string contains this many characters at the moment so I'm initializing the string to this many characters now let's see the output of the program without editing the memory So it is printing this particular string. Nothing interesting. Now I am going to rerun this program. So I have a breakpoint hit here. So I am going to press F10. So currently the printf statement is not executed but the array is initialized so I'm going to do a DC on the string so I'm getting the same output which I should get now what I'm going to do is I'm going to edit this memory so this particular address so starting from that address I'm going to edit the memory so this is an ASCII string so I'm going to use the variant EA so EA then the address which I wanted to edit then the string I have edited that region so now if I do a DC on the same address I'll get a different value or string whatever it is now if I do a printf obviously the value is going to be different as you can see this is not a value which I'm filling up here but this is a value I have edited Another command which has similar behavior is the R command which we have discussed before. So R command can be used to change the value in registers. So this can be very useful in skipping lines and statements. So what we're going to do is we're going to change the value of EIP such that it will skip this print statement altogether. For that, first we're gonna do is we're gonna disassemble this function uf. That is a command for disassembling the function. So this is our printout statement. If you carefully look at the disassembly, and this is our int three. So this is where we need to reach. So this is a value of the eip. It should be. So what we're going to do is our EIP equal to 0x. So now if I do an F10, and if I look I don't have anything printed so this is empty because I have bypassed that statement altogether so we have seen the E command for edit memory and we have seen the similar behavior for the R command or the register command by changing the value of registers that's it. Thank you very much.